Hey guys, it's Applemint. Welcome back again to my channel. Now, as you might have read from the title of today's video, I'm changing up the way that I do art. I have found a foolproof method to getting your art to look perfect. It's unlike any other method you've ever seen before, and it takes two of the things that I love the most, art and food. Now, you may be wondering, what is this breakthrough that you made? Over the past few months, I've spent hours and hours perfecting my craft. I didn't want to say anything until I had it down, but I think it's finally ready to be unleashed to the public. I also wasn't sure if the feeble minds out there would be able to understand the advanced knowledge. But after much thought, today is the day. So we're gonna say goodbye to the old Apple Mint and hello to the new, because this is a new segment that I'd like to call Apple Munch. I'm not gonna lie, my fiance came up with the name. Thanks, Ryan. Anyway, the first thing that we're gonna do before we get started, wait, hold on, apron time. So now that we're aproned up and ready to cook, I'm gonna show you all the materials that you're gonna need. Now for the sake of simplicity, I've gone ahead and completed some line art ahead of time. This isn't my best work. But with my method, you can take ordinary, mediocre artwork and turn it into a masterpiece in just some simple steps using your kitchen. So we're gonna take her, I'm gonna call her Fred for this because she kind of looks like a Fred right now. Don't ask me why, she just, just does. The materials that you're going to need include multiple tubes of acrylic paint. You'll also need some brushes for mixing and painting as well as a sponge brush. And lastly, you will also need some glitter glue. Now this can be any color. I'm going to be using white glitter glue. You're also going to need one oh, large baking sheet and some parchment paper so that we don't ruin our oven. Anyway, let's get started on turning this into a masterpiece. Now the first thing we're gonna do for this project before we even touch our drawing is we're gonna mix the paints that are required. So for her, I'm thinking that she's gonna be more of a, you know, orangey, yellows, pinks kind of girl. So I'm gonna take some pink, yellow, and a little bit of brown. How about some green? Because I'm thinking we need a little splash of color, maybe her eyes. So those are our four colors we're gonna be using. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just going to take the paints and, uh, well, that... So make sure your paint doesn't go everywhere like mine did. The next step we're going to do is take this yellow paint. Now you might notice the liquidy consistency of my paint. Yours might be thicker. If your paint is liquidy like mine is, don't worry. That's gonna be baked out. If you're concerned about the loose consistency though, you can add something like, I don't know, a little bit of syrup maybe. That's a little thick, right? Or maybe some, uh, some marshmallow fluff. That might work too. I'm just gonna do this before anybody gets mad at me. You know, I'm thinking we could use a little bit more pink. It's just, uh, yeah, just, just go to town with that. And one more, just, just, just one more splashy yellow. All right, awesome. I'm feeling it, it's feeling good. So now what we're gonna do, I have a spray bottle, but you could just take this right to your sink and just kind of dump it in. Um, you know, in terms of measurements, I haven't really worked out those details yet. So I would just say to eyeball maybe like, you know, a few, a few nice spritzes of water, maybe like 10. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's a nice consistency. And you want this to be a little bit loose. Some of the extra liquid will bake right out. So it'll help you to spread it along your drawing. And then the extra water just, just kind of evaporates. So now to mix this, we're gonna take our baking spoon, AKA our medium-sized paintbrush. I'm just gonna mix that nice color all around. Oh yeah. Now yours might be looking a little pukey. You might notice that. And um, you know, it seems that mine is too right now, but wow, that's that's not pink hmm. or orange. Well, maybe it's close to yellow. <laughs> I don't know, but you know, you just have you just have to trust the process. I mean, that's what this whole new cooking show that I'm doing is all about, is trusting the process. You know, it might look a little weird, but I've just got all this knowledge and you just gotta trust me. Cause if you don't, then your drawing is gonna look pretty bad. So now that we've gone ahead and mixed it as evenly as we can, yeah, that's, I would say that's even enough. You know, we can do a little uh, swatch on the side there. Yeah, look at that. And all the colors we need, don't, like I said, don't worry about it not looking like the final product just yet. All the colors we need are in there. So once we bake it, it'll just work out, okay? It'll work out, trust me. So now I'm just gonna lay out nice little 
little paper towel here so we uh, have a nice surface oof, to do our art on. So we're gonna put down our mixing brush and we're just gonna grab this little brush right here. I found the smallest one I could, honestly. It was just like finding a needle in a haystack. And we're just gonna get that all nice and in our paint. And what you wanna do is just very carefully, just, now this is a very, this, this moment is very important. You need to make sure that you completely, completely cover where all your lines are, but you wanna make sure you stay nice and within the lines. This part is important and essential because if you don't, well, I mean, if your drawing looks like garbage, that's not my fault. You didn't follow my instruction, whatever. Anyway, we're just gonna keep on going here and that looks good. All of my lines are covered and you might say, hey, that looks like it's outside the lines, but don't worry, that's gonna bake right out. The parts you don't want that aren't in the lines are just gonna evaporate in the oven or something, so. All right, so now we're just gonna put that aside. We're finished with that because I think we've got a nice, nice even coat there. You can barely see the line art. That's exactly what we want. You turn it around, it hasn't really bled through, we're good. And now something we need to do to add some of our little highlights and finishing touches that the piece would have once it's done baking. I'm gonna take our glitter glue and we're just gonna just put it on. Ooh, that came out. Now that came out a little um, harshly, but you know, maybe don't use as much force as I did just there. But you know, anyway, so there's gonna be a highlight in the eye right there. There's the hair shines right there, some sparkly shine. And we, you know, we'll give a little bit to the pearl necklace that she's got on, the earring. Yeah, and just maybe a little bit for the butterfly right there. So there we go, there, there's the sparkly part. And notice how it kind of blends in with the color underneath it. It's very sparkly, glitter glue is great for this kind of thing. And before we put it into the oven, we're gonna take our sponge and we're just gonna make sure it's nice and in there and integrated with the paint. The painting knows where it needs to be now, where all the highlights and the detail needs to go. So I'm just gonna mix the glitter right in there to get a nice coat of glitter. This is where we are now. It's really sparkly. Look at that shine and the light, wow. Wow, look at that. I mean, that's, that's really nice. I'm, but we can't stop here. We have to finish the process. As much as it is tempting to stop here, we have to keep going. So while we let that sit for a moment, we're just going to turn the oven on. Now we need to set the oven to preheat. We're gonna to go to 400 and we're gonna say start. And that'll preheat nicely for us. I'm just gonna let that get ready and uh, get everything else started. So we're just gonna get the baking sheet ready. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of parchment paper. Just gonna lay that out nicely. This is gonna help prevent any kind of spillage onto our tray and make it a little bit easier to clean up later. So now we're going to carefully remove our artwork from the paper towel surface. And we're just gonna lay it nicely in the center of our parchment paper. This is gonna help us get a nice even bake all around, make sure it's nice and flat. You know, your paper might wanna buckle a little bit because it's, uh, well, you know. But once it goes in the oven, again, it will evaporate. The, the extra liquid will evaporate. So we're gonna be fine. This is gonna work, trust me. So let's get it in the oven. So now we're ready to get this in there and start baking. This is going to be baking for 30 minutes and then we're gonna check on it. There we go. Now, like I said, we're gonna leave that going for 30 minutes, check on it. It's probably gonna need a lot, another like 10 minutes after that, but let's just see how it goes. Okay, so it looks like it's been a half hour. Let's check on how our painting is going. You know what, we gotta be safe. Gonna get some oven mitts. Just kidding, don't have oven mitts, but I do have pot holders and that works too. All right, let's check on the status here. All right, now it would seem that the color is baking in nicely, but we do need a little bit more time in the oven to really bake out that little bit of excess there and just get the details to be a little more solidified. So we're gonna put it back in for another 10 minutes and then we're gonna check on it. Be very careful when you put it back in, the oven is hot. All right, let's set the timer for 10 more minutes. See you in 10 minutes. 10 minutes passed, well, let's check on our art. Ooh. 
little bit of smoke here. It's really warm. Let's see how we did. Just gonna set it down carefully. So I don't wanna touch it yet because it is warm because it just came out of the oven, but it really did bake nicely. See, like I said, you just had to trust the process because all that extra color baked into the right areas that we needed them to. So I am very happy with this result and I'm just gonna let it cool off a little bit. So now that our artwork has cooled off, I can show you the finished piece up close. I think I'm gonna call this piece butterflies and I'm very proud of how it came out. As you can see, there was a, a whole process to get this to come to be the way that it is, but I just really wanted to show you guys my new technique and that you can really take anything, any kind of mediocre art you might have, and with my process, you can bake it to be better. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that with a little bit of inspiration and technique, you guys can turn anything into a beautiful piece of artwork. You know, I don't even know if you guys should try my technique because honestly, it's, it's a little advanced and uh, I'm just really smart. So if you guys liked what I did and you wanna see more Apple Munch, let me know. All of my links are in the description box below as always, link to my online store, Patreon pin club, Instagram page, Discord server, although I might throw all those things out the window and just going to the baking business full time because I think I really got a skill here. I got some talent that I should work on. So maybe I'll just get rid of all those links and I will just start a new cooking blog and a new cooking channel. This is the new me, this is my new passion and I hope you guys will support me in everything that I'm going to be doing on my channel from now on. So hope you have a beautiful day, wonderful weekend and have fun baking your art. Please don't bake your art. Like that's the worst idea. Do not put paint in the oven, do not, Put paper in the oven. Do not listen to anything I said in this video. I feel like that's a necessary disclaimer, even though I hope it was obvious that this is an April Fool's joke, but I need to say that so that people do not actually do this and burn their house down because I don't want to be responsible for paint art fires. Please do not, do, don't do it, but do check out my links in the description box below. <laughs> Happy April Fool's. Bye-bye.